Well, we've arrived at our hotel room in Melbourne. And sometimes you just know when you've got too much luggage. And by that, I mean you just know it. So we'll let you decide what you think about our luggage. I bet you can't guess how many suitcases are behind me. Suitcase one, suitcase two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and our carry-on. Plus our camera bag and laptops. We now have everything that we own. We like traveling light. <laughs> <laughs> we only pack for the essentials. <laughs> so basically this is all our tools and everything that we had left at my dad's and my books. So <laughs> we'll be moving it all onto the boat. Yay! Once we get back to sunny, warm Queensland. We've made it back from Victoria and now it all begins. We got our boat licenses while we were there and now it's time to learn to sail. So we've come down to the Bundaberg Sailing Club. We've joined them. Today we're just actually sussing it out and next week we'll begin. We're back at the marina and back into the boat work. But before we get onto that, we are gonna go for a walk to town because we need some washing liquid and a few other things. So we're going for a nice little walk and then we'll be into the boat. Got a few little issues that we need to sort. One of them being a leak, but it's only a leak from the sump into the bilge. So we're gonna sort that out today. I'm gonna to do a dodgy on it because <laughs> it's hard to fix. <laughs> so for now, we're gonna do a dodgy, hopefully. I'll show you what we're gonna do later and finish the toilets off because I never got to finish those before we left to go to Victoria Catherine's cleaning the kitchen, I think. Something like that. And the Barbie, the most important thing. We've got to get the Barbie sorted so we can have a Barbie dinner. That's my work list for today. But for now, off to town. Let's go. It's a nice sunny day. Check it out. Nice. How are you this morning, Miss O? I'm great, thank you very much. It's except, Father's Day, so except, I just cooked you a lovely breakfast. She cooked me brekkie. Can you believe that? <laughs> Gee. And it's my baby boy's birthday, so we'll call him later. Happy birthday, son. So we've got a little leak, and I'll show you what I mean. Well, I finally got the tub in. I don't know whether you can see it right down there, the gray tub in the bottom of the bilge. So that's done. And now I need to sort out the bilge pump. Three wires, so I assume one wire is for um, manual and the other two are for on-off automatic because the instructions say nothing. It says, Look, connect up positive and negative <laughs> with some fuses. Don't hang the cables in the water. <laughs> uh, and that's all, hey? Doesn't even say where it's made. Who knows? China, probably. Not a single thing on the box. Anyway. Hopefully it's going to work for us. I'm just going to have to put a fuse in, solder some cables onto it, and we should be good to go. Right, 
red hot already. What a super good soldering iron. And make sure if you're soldering at home that you put your safety glasses on because it only takes one little splatter in your eye and you could be blind. So, safety glasses. Done. I'll let it cool down and we'll do some heat shrinking. If anyone's wondering what I've got, it's a Portisol gas soldering iron. They're about $150, somewhere around there, but they're very good. Super good, hey? Rightio. Next, changed over to a heat gun. We go tape it up some more put some cable ties on it I mean and we can lower it in next well the sump pumps all in there down the bottom, in the container, it's filling up with water, and it seems like it's working fine. And I'm hot, and it's not even that hot, not used to the temperature. Next job, I've just finished off the head, all the piping, it's been replaced, all new. I just got this cover to go back on, I need to paint it and give it a clean. That covers all of that for the shower so it doesn't get wet. And the other toilet, I'll show you. I've got to get here in the dungeon over the back and wire it in over there. But I need to get it through from this side first of all. So this one's all been replaced as well. All new waste pipes and inlet water pipes. Just got to finish off the wiring. And we're good to go. Let's turn the water on. Turn the toilet water on. Let's see whether it works. Should put some. Uh... Wow. Dude, black water. That hasn't been for a long time. Good job, Haskins. It's gonna smell. Oh, it does. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, go for it.
Okay, okay stop. Whoa! Did that flush a bit better when I turned that on? Yep. Or how much? Mmm. You can get an electronic valve. Remember I said <laughs> that we might need to get an electronic valve? Yeah. What's wrong? It stinks. How's it? Is it still going now? Or? Yeah, look, it's good. Hang on, I'll put my finger over it a bit more. So you can get some real water through. We might have to change that for a, a valve. Okay. Go for it. Wow. What? It's like Niagara Falls. When I do the thing, is it? Yeah, shit, yeah. Much better. Way better. So I should be getting a valve. Super good. Well done. Tick. Tick. Another job done. Stinks, but yeah. Today's mission is to sort out my garage or my tool storage area on the boat. I'll show you what we got at the moment. It's pretty hectic. Here in the second cast cabin is some of my stuff. Everywhere. Here in the V-berth is more stuff. We got some on the rear deck and basically under here is just paint and stuff. And up here And up here, behind here, we've got oil and more stuff. And more stuff here. That needs to all be sorted through. And we've got more stuff under that seat. So, I've got a bit of organising to do. We've got some boxes. I'm going to try and work it out so that it's all neat and accessible. And we'll see how we go. It's going to be a mean task to sort it all out. And I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of crap that I'm going to throw away. We'll see how we go. Underneath here, we've got more spares as well. Spares. Whoops. And then down the back. I don't know whether you can see it down there. Down the back, under there, we have a... I don't know how many litre that would be. 100 litre fuel storage for the outboard. And a filler nozzle in here as well that I need to look at and sort out. So under here there's more storage. Cables and crap. Down the back under here there's more storage that I can't get into because this is in the way and I can't get in here because when they made the table bigger it hits but there's more storage behind there as well and there's some more storage under here that I can't get to can't waste that storage that's for sure but for now crikey let's get into here so this is one of the contents of the suitcases that we Bought back. I've already picked out all the tools and things. Cow's just helping out the neighbour. Wow. Jesus, that's fast. Oh, like the bung plug 
It's a bung plug. Are you sure you said bung? <laughs> I said bung plug. Close to the chandlery. One of those to the chandlery. Oh, to get more of them. Yeah, so these are all of our screws. From the roof, because the roof has a lot of missing screws. screws and we're everywhere. not quite sure why. What the hell is going on? very strange but anyway there's lots of strange things we're discovering i think you have a problem got a hose clamp fetish that's what's going off and i bought more yeah. Oops. hilarious Holy hilarious. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want a reminder, hit the bell. And remember, we always love a thumbs up. I've been searching in the dark. Trusting every